Welcome to the live cast. Today I'm going to make you a hero. It's that simple. Sounds good to me. It is that simple. Look, uh, if you're a meat lover, you enjoy a good steak, correct? Yes. If you're a meat lover, you enjoy a good steak cooked the right way, yes. correct? And what is the right way? The right way, I won't ask you, Max. I'll tell you. The right way is a beautiful, say, medium rare inside. Yes. It's difficult to get it there. We've talked about the benefits of sous vide. It's a separate machine or piece of equipment that, that cooks a steak uh, in a vacuum seal bag or Ziploc bag in a constant temperature water bath till it, till it gets the same temperature all the way through, say 130 for medium room. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you another way to do that. Here, ladies and gentlemen, is what we will call a beautiful... Thick, wow! Look at that boneless. That's a beast. Ribeye steak. Well, the point is, is this really is best on something thick. A little thin steak, you don't need my help with. You should be able to cook that quickly yourself. Perhaps ruin it. I'm not saying everybody's going to do that, but a thin steak, super hot heat, little bit of time on each side. But that's not what we're doing here. We're going with the jump. Look at this. What is that? Two inches? About. Very yeah, that's, that's a ass load, right? So here's what I'm going to give this. It's really simple. Really simple. I'm going to go a nice amount of kosher salt. It's really thick. We want the seasoning to be an important part of this, right? And lots of fresh ground pepper on each side. Same over here, right? A little salt. Pepper. And now for the secrets. At this point, you'd probably take it, put it on the grill, put it on a cast iron pan or something like that. It's not what we're going to do. We're going to cook it in the oven. But watch this. Sorry, this is new. I've never taken it apart. Or used it and I hope it works the way it's supposed to. This is a, uh, a probe style thermometer that can go in the oven. Hence the metal, metal uh, what's this called? Um, cord. The metal cord. Right? So it can go in the oven and it's all fine. Except when it does this, fuck. Come on, undo yourself. Here we go, okay, right? So now here's what we do. We take this guy, ah, and we insert the probe right into the middle. Is it right there? Let me just make sure it's right there. There we go, okay? Probe is now in the middle of the steak. We plug that into here. Oh my God, look what I just did. What? I just bent that. How did I do that? Oh God. Oh my God. Shoots. That wasn't. We turn it on. There we go. All okay. Right. Still works. Now let's do this. Let's set our temperature. Low temperature. I don't really care about high temperature. Let's go 100 and we'll say 131 degrees, right? Mm-hmm. We say uh, set temperature done. Now we take this beautiful boy. Turn this. We're gonna put this guy in the oven. The oven is set 
to 275 degrees. Max, look right here. 275. 275 degrees, right? Yep. So we're, we're cooking this relatively slow. When this guy gets to 275 degrees, sorry, when this guy, don't put that in. When the steak gets to our set temperature of 131 degrees, out he comes. We sear him and we eat him. That's all there is to it. There's no guessing, there's no hoping, there's no pushing, there's no probing. There's this, there's this, and then there's this. I'll be back. Done. Done. So here's what we've got. Okay, and I know what you're thinking. You're, you're going like this, Sam. It's not that exciting. Because it doesn't look that exciting, does it, Max? Not the most exciting. Well, we're going to fix that. It does look good, so. Because, no, it doesn't look good. I think it looks okay. But here's what it needs. It needs to be seared. Yes, it does. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to pull that out. This is now finished. Uh, all it gets, is our pan hot enough? Is a little bit of oil. I'll use a little bit of canola. Because, why, why canola, Max? Uh, we don't want a ton of flavor. Right, exactly. We just need moist, uh, lubrication. Lubrication, that's exactly right. And now, ready to put this in. Okay, so you see the smoke? Yes. Okay, now that now and now you need the fan. Ready? Ready. Wow. Is that pretty? Oh yeah. We're gonna give it like uh, 45 seconds, maybe. That's it. Doesn't really need any more than that. Remember what you've done. I'll say that after. Forget that part. Remember what you've done. Remember what you've done. You put it in the oven at 275 with the probe thermometer. Set it at 131. When the bell went off, it took us a second to get here, so it said 132, but it's all fine. But now all we're doing is giving it some color, right? Like that. Oh, now yeah. that looks pretty, okay? Now you see the color that you want. And the reason there's these little grids is because of this. So that'll be the bottom, not to worry. And if you wanted, you could do this. No, forget it, I'm not gonna bother. Wow, that's the perfect steak. Ready? Let's go over here. Oh yeah. Let's turn it off. Let's go over here. You need a picture of that. Okay, while well, it just sits there for a sec, I, I couldn't help it. I had to make just a little uh, horseradish cream because it's my favorite thing, right? So sour cream in the bowl, horseradish, horse, horse, horseradish, couple really good, like three tablespoons. What is that? Maybe a third of a cup of, of the stuff. A bunch of parsley. Two more things. Stay right there, Max. Three. Salt. Pepper. And a squeeze of good olive oil. Makes this just this rich, luxurious little Okay, now let's cut this, shall we? I'm gonna go right here, okay? Cut across the grain, you ready? See how gorgeous and perfect? Ready. Oh yeah. Look at that. 
Oh yeah. Look at how juicy and gorgeous that is. Now you do this. Now you take a piece, get a little bit of the horseradish. Perfect, perfect color. Very nice. I've left everything on the table for you, ladies and gentlemen. I have no more secrets. Well, I do. There's some stuff I did when I was 18 I won't be talking about. But look at that. Look how beautiful that is, right? And a little bite right here. This is called the deckle, this outer edge. This perf perfectly cooked, juicy, even with a little bit of that fat on there. Oh, shit. All right. Reverse sear. 275, it gets to 131. Bob's your uncle. You can thank me later. What do we say? Don't eat the same thing all the time and don't eat shitty food. I'm about to not eat shitty food.